Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new dog rescue game! This is a very special one because this time around we are not focusing on running a shelter full of puppies and all sorts of strays. Instead we are specializing in senior doggos! The older dogs who need somewhere to go to relax and unwind during their more twilight years. Showing that they can be just as well loved as any puppy or younger dog could be. My friends, welcome to Old Friends Dog Game, which is getting ready to exit the beta pretty soon now, so keep an eye out for it on your mobile game app of choice. And we're going to go ahead and dive into Cheerful Tales Dog Home! I love the double pun of that, thinking that we can also like have cheerful puppy tails where they're all wagging and happy, and also the cheerful tale, T-A-L-E, of their stories unfolding. So, let's do this! It's the first day of opening your very own senior dog sanctuary, Cheerful Tales Dog Home. Yay! Your motto will be, their affection is timeless, their devotion is ageless, and their love is forever. Words to live by. Oh gosh, I'm so excited! It looks like an old building, but there's nothing wrong with being old. Volunteering at City Animal Rescue, you met so many senior dogs who needed a warm bed and loving home. Oh, am I going to bring him over here? So, oh, look, I really need to, like, clean this thing up. Oh, my gosh, I can't wait to, like, start putting new plaster on the walls, big garden. Oh, do you think the puppies would like some gazebos to be able to rest under? Soon, Cheerful Tales Home will be that loving home full of happy old dogs living their best lives. Finally, your dream to rescue and care for senior dogs in your very own sanctuary has come true. Yay! Okay, so I'm going to help every single senior dog I can find. This place is going to be the ultimate paradise for senior dogs. You know what? I'll go for this one because I do want to make a paradise for them. <gasps> Look at the cute little paw prints on the door! You fumble for the key in your pocket before opening the door. Oh, I'm so excited! You burst through the entrance and take in the view of your new place. I wonder if I'm going to live here, too. <gasps> Hello, puppers! And just like that, a little dog appears out of nowhere? What? It's Mac, your very first senior dog to care for. He's so cute! Mac jumps. He's a little startled by your reaction. Sorry, Mac. I probably came off too strong. Hi, buddy. Mac is blind, but that doesn't stop him from approaching you with excitement. Oh, Mac! He sniffs around you with curiosity. Welcome home, Mac. Oh, he's so cute. Mac is happy to be the first dog adopted into your sanctuary. Oh, somebody's knocking at the door. You and Mac have your very first visitor. It's your mentor, Zena, and she's here to teach you how to run a great dog sanctuary. Come on in. Heck, it's important to have lots of friends to help us with our old friends. All right, all right. <gasps> Hello. We have lots to do today. Why not try something essential like petting Mac? Okay, that is absolutely essential. We gotta rub Mac's belly! Yay! Oh, he got little heart points! Look at that happy boy. You've started earning his loyalty. Now he deserves some treats and toys. Oh, that's so cute! Mac, here, let me unpack the treats and toys. Okay, so do I give him directly the treat? I do! Look at that! And now we go ahead and we get him a toy. Oh, he's so happy! Oh, look at him holding that ball. Giving dogs items increases the loyalty they give you over time. Oh, and I guess the more loyalty... That is adorable and precious. Oh my gosh, I like want to write that idea down for like our zoo crafting adventures too. Increasing the loyalty from the animals over time. What the heck? That is such a cool idea. And a happy dog will reward you with lots of loyalty to collect. Mac, look at you. Okay, there we go. I have a gift for you. It's a wolf phone. Oh my gosh, that's really cute. You can use it for all sorts of things, like keeping track of your dogs in the wolf book. Man, Xena was like ready for this. Check out Max's journey in the wolf book. Oh, there's just a lot of news suddenly going on. I want to like make sure. Okay, so Mac needs pets. Is that what it's telling me? Can I pet Mac? Okay, but first I need to open the wolf book. So there's a wolf book and then you look at the friendship button. <gasps> they have a little story journey. Oh no, I think I have just fallen completely in love. They have a little story journey, you guys, where you can unlock their story as you take care of them. Are you kidding? <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Here you can get an overview of your dogs. Oh my gosh, and gain loyalty with Mac to unlock more dogs? <gasps> Mac, 
Every dog is unique and will have its own journey to go through with you. Gaining loyalty is the key to unlocking the next part of the journey. Looks like Mac is ready to give you some now. Oh my goodness! So then it looks like you have to- Oh, this is so cute! It reminds me of Pocket Camp, Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. So you fill out their little loyalty hearts, and then the further along you get, the more things that you unlock. Look at that! And then your besties! Okay, dog loyalty and happiness. Dogs will give loyalty over time. Increase the loyalty per minute by keeping your dog's needs fulfilled. Give dogs their favorite toy or treats to generate more loyalty per minute. Loyalty increases the heart bar, which when it, when it is full, you will unlock the next story. Oh, I would love to unlock the next story. Oh, we got, we got another bar. Okay, so tap on the icon above Mac to start the story. Okay, this is amazing. I love the idea that you get to unlock like this big story with everybody. Mac has been sticking closely to your side. He seems to be feeling a little lost in his new home. Time for a house tour to help Mac feel comfortable. All right, let's check out, let's try the gathering room. You decide to start small and attempt to lead Mac to the other side of the gathering room. All right, right over here, buddy. Hey Mac, what's that, what's this over here? He can't see. He's a blind old boy, so we need to be gentle with him. Mac plods over, sniffing the ground. Let's see. Good boy, Mac. Mac is furiously sniffing something, some pretty serious dust bunnies. I should give this place a good sweep. Mac lays down. <laughs> oh, let's see. You know what? He is an old boy, so should I say that's enough for today or keep exploring? Let's keep exploring, Mac. Does he want to? Max sits up. He's responding well to your voice already. Oh, good. I'm glad the sound of my voice helps him kind of explore the place. You slowly walk towards the doggy door. Hey, buddy. Oh, what'd you find? Mac boops his head on a box. Oh, are you okay, Mac? Oh, he doesn't seem bothered. Oh, we really should unpack this stuff because a blind puppy is just going to stumble all around the room. And he's, he, I mean, this is his first day here, so he has no orientation yet either. You head back to the center of the room with Mac following close behind. Mac tilts his head as if to say, what's next? You're so cute, Mac. You coo at Mac. This is a perfect photo opportunity. Oh, let's just take a picture of him just like this. I don't need him to sit. He's adorable. Oh, <gasps> I made a little dog blog post. That's so cute. An adorable photo. Everyone needs to see how cute Mac is. Time to post it on the internet. Good boy, Mac. Everybody needs to know, like, you can take good care of the old puppers, too. Gosh, I'm so tickled. Yay! So we completed a story of Mac's journey. And apparently that got, like, an actual post or something. So we need eight more hearts in order to unlock his next part of his story. What a moment you had with Mac. And gosh, he's so photogenic. Why don't you create a dog blog profile so you can share these moments? Okay, that sounds adorable. So, Cheerful Tales Dog Home. Their affection is timeless and their devotion is ageless and their love is forever. Yeah, I think it's important to do this because it may seem like weird to some people to be like, what, you're just gonna like start focusing on making some sort of blog? But you really have to do a lot of, I, I feel like everybody has a story. Absolutely everybody has a story. And everybody should have a platform that they, they authentically try to work at to create actively their story. But also we all have lessons that we have learned through our lives that I feel are like light that you can offer to other people. It could be because you really went through some heavy obstacles in the past or something really bad happened in your life, but you were able to rally and you could lend that strength and the knowledge you gained to others. Or it could just be joy and the light of infectious joy to share with one another. So I'm actually a huge advocate for everyone having some sort of presence, however they feel comfortable with sharing their story to some degree. It doesn't have to be online, it doesn't have to be social media, but I will never judge someone for wanting to share their story in ways that are authentic and like kind to others, kind to themselves. And I feel like the more control you take over your own story, the more you start directing your life. Ergo, why I'm very happy to create a blog post. Even though that may seem kind of weird. Oh, look how cute he is. Here's my new friend, Mac. We both moved into my new dog sanctuary today. Hashtag welcome home. Hashtag Mac is the cutest. Hashtag Mac. I love it. All right. So, oh, and I can put that on Instagram too. Are you kidding me? Okay. I might have to actually try that. Uh, we'll have to see. Okay. That's adorable. All right. And then I can make a little profile for myself. What a clever way to do that. All right. Let's see. Let's do mouth. Let's see. Now I don't need a beard. 
Hmm. Hmm. This is kind of cute. Can I? Ah, oh, green background. That's more like me. Let's see. And then let's do green shirt. Uh, well, maybe a purple shirt if we're going to go with a green background. Or maybe an orange shirt. I actually love blue. What am I wearing now? I'm wearing pink. So we're going to go with pink. <laughs> All right. My eyebrows. Cute. Okay. Oh, bushy eyebrows. Bushy eyebrows is totally me, actually. It's the German heritage. Or maybe the Hawaiian. I could never decide. Uh, all right. Can I have some hair, please? Hair? Hair! All right. Let's see if we have any hair that somewhat resembles... Well, I do wear my hair up in a bun all the time. But do we have anything long? My hair is literally so long that it actually reaches down to the back of my knees now when it's down. Hey, I mean, that'll do. That'll definitely do. Maybe in a braid like that. I like that. And a nose. I'm a like Animal Crossing villager nose. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my gosh, you can have a little nose ring too. Alright, you get a little Animal Crossing villager noses. I'll go with this one. And then... Maybe a nice smile? Let's see. Oh, wait. We need to go this way. Oh, I guess I could have hit the random button to really like have some fun. Oh, there we go! Now I'm starting to feel a little bit more like myself. Here, I, I love it! Little circle face! <laughs> With a little dimple smile. That seems right. And then... Ah, oh, why is that so cute? Here, I want to I wanna grin. I want a nice little grin like that. That makes me happy. Alright, that's adorable. This is really cute. Great, I just followed you. Maybe you should start unpacking some boxes and decorating this place? Absolutely. So let's come and... Oh, that's cute. I got a whole bunch of stuff. What the heck? I got a whole bunch of stuff. How to decorate the sanctuary. All right, we can move furniture around. We can position it however we want. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, got it. Let's give Mac his bed. He absolutely needs this. Okay, so... Oh, a plant! Okay, apparently I need to put the lamp out first. Uh, but there we go. It's starting to look really nice in here. Looks like Mac wants some attention now. Mac needs me. All right. Oh, there he goes. He gets the pets. Oh, and he's hungry. All right, so let's go ahead and give him a treat. I'm going to need to figure out how to, like, buy treats. We're going to let him play with his toy. He's happy now. Oh, another story with Mac, you guys. Almost finished with all of the unpacking. Just one box left. Rummaging around, you find something unfamiliar. Are those paw prints? It's a hat? Is this for Mac? <laughs> I see you found my little surprise. Lots of question marks! That's adorable. That has for Mac. He loves dressing up. Does he? You may not see it yet, but he can be a bit of a party animal. That hat suits that part of his personality perfectly. <gasps> Let's get Mac to try it on! Oh, this is adorable. I'm so happy. I am so tickled by this. You call for Mac, who obediently strolls over. You bend down and gently place the hat on Mac. Oh? Oh, what? <laughs> is Mac a party animal? Look at him! Oh, you guys, that is too cute. Oh, it makes me want to play with the puppy so badly. Look at our little party animal. He's adorable. Oh. Oh, he is a little party animal. Listen to him. That's so cute. Mac howls in agreement. He really likes his hat. All right, picture time. That's precious. New dog, new dog blog post. Another adorable photo to, po to post. Time for the world to meet party animal Mac. This is gonna be so fun to find out all the puppy stories, you guys, and figure out how to like upgrade everything. Oh, I'm so tickled and happy. Time to give that old kitchen a go and do some baking. <gasps> I get to bake my own food? I'll give you some ingredients. Oh, you guys, this is gonna be so much fun. We're gonna bake Mac a biscuit. He's just, oh, he's a party animal now. He's just snoozing with his little party hat. Oh, this is the best we got to share party animal Mac with everybody. There we go. Now, I will, I will go bake biscuits soon. I need to go to the kitchen. Recipe, bake. Okay, I got it, but I really wanted to learn about, look at this, look at this party animal. Did you know that all, that Mac is, absol is absolutely a party animal? Okay, that's really cute. I really love that. 
All right, this is gonna be so fun. You guys, I'm happy. I'm so happy that old friend's dog game. I've been keeping an eye on it for a long time. It's finally working on my emulator so I can record it. Look at the big yard we'll have for the puppers and all the stuff we can upgrade. This is gonna be so fun and just make us all feel good and make us think about some puppers who often tend to be overlooked because they're a little older. I, I think this is gonna be absolutely delightful. But all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me on this adventure. I am so tickled that we found another rescue game that we can dive into and just enjoy. If you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.